Our marketing analyst this week is Mike Briggs. In the latest Cattle on Feed report, inventory for cattle on feed in the U.S. dropped 6% year over year, while placements rose 2% in the same time frame. We spoke with Mike Wednesday morning about the concerns for consumer demand and activity in the markets over the last month. Well, what we saw in January, we actually produced more beef than we did last year with less cattle. And that was a function of the huge spread between the December board and the February board. It was just begging you to take cattle over, roll cattle forward, and we did it too. We took cattle that probably should have went in December and they ended up going in January and they were bigger because the weather was pretty good and we produced a lot of beef in January, a typically bad demand time. So we kind of doubled down on ourselves and once all that beef was produced and didn't get consumed, it drug the market down pretty hard. I want to talk about demand. We had talked over the last few months about the payroll tax that was going to hit. It came through, and I think people probably saw in their paychecks a little bit bigger of a hit than they thought they might see. I agree. And the gas prices are also going back up. So does do those two things kind of equal a slack in demand? Absolutely, because that, defect, that directly affects disposable income for people. You know, that 2% payroll tax increase it affected your paycheck a little more than maybe you thought it was going to, and then gas is, is going up again. It's all about disposable income. If people don't have available income to buy an elevated or a luxury item like beef, they're not going to do it. Yeah, concerned even going through grilling season? Obviously, not. we're not there yet based we're on We're not today, there but. yet. <laughs> um, there's there's going to be a concern. If we don't continue to see build some momentum in the economy, I think the market struggles. You know, everybody was convinced that, oh, we're going to trade cattle at a buck fifty. No, you're not, because the, mar the economy is not going to support it. I don't know if we can get to a buck forty. I hope we can get back to the mid, I hope we can get to the mid 130s, because I'm telling you, most of these cattle that break even are between 135 and probably 142, 3 on the top side. Those cattle are going to lose a world of money after people have already lost a world of money. So this thing could, this thing could get worse than it already is for, as a cattle feeder. Okay, but do you think there's any ground below that or is, are we at the ground floor right I now? Think, I think we put our low in the, in, the, in the futures market last week. I think we've put our low in. It's just a matter of how far we can drive it. Now, the thing that none of us have ever seen is we've never seen beef supplies as short as they're, as they're going to get. And there's been a lot of anticipation of that and probably too much and it's why we got the markets too high. The question is, and, and we're, we're into a situation where it's going to be prove it time. The, the cash market's going to have to prove that the cattle can go up. How far they, can they go up? I don't know. Exports have been good, and I think exports are going to have to really be there to support it because I just don't think the American consumer has the disposable money. Before we started, you were talking about cattle crush and that there might be an option over the next, uh, what, X number of months to make some money. Explain that to me. You have what's called a cattle crush. It's basically feeding cattle on the board, buying feeder cattle on the board, buying your corn on the board, and then selling your cattle on the board. And for the first time in two years, there's a little bit of margin in those fall, fall cattle crushes. Typically, as a cattle feeder, you can put those on, and then you unwind them as you bring in cattle, and that's supposed to lock in a margin for you. You've been unable to do any of that for over two years. And now, finally, there's starting to be some margins show up. So that's encouraging to me as a cattle feeder, you know that there's margin somewhere. Yeah. I think what's going to help us finally next fall is if a big crop comes to fruition, we're going to get this corn price down where actually we can do some work. The grain analysts, the term they use for corn has been range bound for so long, but now we're going to see a few legs probably from ethanol with gas prices going higher. For you as a buyer, where are you? I've got a lot of cattle purchase because, or excuse corn. me, the corn purchase because I still believe it's pretty much in stone. Corn supply is going to be really tight until the combines hit the field next fall. Next fall is a long time away. And I think you're going to see some really tight physical corn supplies, especially with, you brought it up, ethanol's back in gear. Those plants are going to kick back in gear. They're going to grind up a lot of corn. They're going to use up a lot of available supply. And I think corn is going to be really tight. Now, next fall, it's a totally different world. I think we could end up with some sub, uh, definitely sub $6 corn. You may even get to sub $5 corn which is great for us in the cattle industry because we can do a little work then. We know that there's probably a high chance that you'll see a, another high set in the cattle market. When do you think that we might see that? Great question. I think we're going to have a nice run into Memorial Day like we typically do. Then you're probably going to see a little bit of a swoon. I don't think it'll be as bad as normal. Typically you have a $12 to a $15 break in the spring from the high to the low. I think we've kind of put that in already. I think we put that in earlier. We broke this market in the last 
60 days about $11. So I think we're kind of done that. I still think you'll have your typical soon after Memorial Day. I don't think it'll be as great. Then it's going to be really interesting to see how tight cattle supplies get next fall and what the economy can support. You may, you may really see something special, but I'm, I'm not one of these people that's in the $1.50 camp.